do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. So today's video is another follow-up video related to the MX4 SIO project. And the theme of this video is more geared towards some, just a little bit of tips and tricks that I learned along the way as I was making my own MX4 SIO and also as I was continuing doing research from online forums and threads. And then also at the end of this video, I'll talk a little bit about this MX4 SIO compatibility list that I have put together and still working on it with the, with the gaming community and it's pretty awesome. So first of all, if you don't know what MX4 SIO is, I have a link in the video description. Basically, it's a cool method where you can use a PCB like shown in this picture or you can do your own DIY solutions where you take a PS1 or a PS2 memory card, hack it up, add the, add the wires, add the resistor and any other components that you wish and you'll be able to load PS2 games off a of micro SD or SD card off this adapter, assuming that you have a way to boot into a compatible version of Open PS2 Loader, or OPL for short, that has the correct BDM or Block Device Manager driver to play your game. So it's much faster than USB, um, not as fast as Ethernet, but it's a nice, cool solution, especially for slim users. And here are just some example pictures of what it could look like. And also, if you go to MX4SIO, type it into YouTube, there's tons of videos now. Seems to be adding every single day, which is awesome. And it's pretty cool that the PS2 scene is still alive and there's a lot more to come, basically. Okay, so talk about some troubleshooting tips. If you have this MX4 SIO memory card and if it doesn't work for you for the reason, maybe check your OPL version. So you can go ahead and try the latest OPL version 110. I think there's a 120 beta that you could also try as well. Make sure that MX4 SIO is enabled in your OPL settings. And then if you have any other further issues, you can definitely try one of the beta versions. So there's an open PS2 loader version 110 beta 1627 for certain console versions like below the Deckard model. So if you're underneath the 7500X series, you can try this one. Or if you're like me, where I have a 7500X or higher, you can try this other version, which is the OPL 110 beta 1629. And this one I know for sure, BDM3 has save game support, which is awesome. So. It's not implemented in 1.1.0 or later, the official versions. So hopefully one day the save game file support is supported in that, you know, in future versions of OPL. Another pro tip I covered in one of my earlier videos, if you have a game that's not working, make sure you enable pad emu in the global settings. That might fix your game if, you, if your game doesn't start at all. And then another tip is if you have issues with OPL just in general, uh, run the OPL official version first, and then go ahead, run your OPL uh, beta version second, it should work. If you look at your memory card structure under your first memory card slot, for example, and if you have two OPL folders, delete the OPL folder that only has like one file in there, keep the other one that has a whole bunch of other files, and hopefully that fixes your problem. If not, go to the psx-place.com forum for this particular thread and submit your question. Uh, we have people helping each other like almost every single day, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so another tip that I encountered uh, during myself here when I was doing my own is um, if you insert your MX4 SIO card into your PS2 and you know your card is good, but it doesn't show up in OPL, then maybe what you wanna do is take a look at your slot two contact reader. So in this particular example, earlier I had some contacts that were more pressed down, so to speak, so it wasn't having a good contact pressure when I inserted my memory card. So what I ended up doing was I had this old school dental pick and I use this top portion here to go behind the pins and pull it upwards a little bit for each of the pins. And after I did that particular modification, um, my memory card was able to be detected by the PS2 instantly, which is great. Or you don't have that, you could try me like a little tiny screwdriver and try to get behind the pins here and pull it up. So that was something that I noticed on both of my consoles, both of my slim consoles I had, where I had issues reading the MX4 SIO after a while. Once I did this, all my issues went away. And then also here's a close up. Here's an example of one that I did myself personally. Um, there's some wiring diagrams out there. I'll put a link in the video description to a wiring diagram. And just make sure that if you made your own, you have a good connection with the solder points. Um, make sure all your wires are intact, of course. And make sure that this particular SD card is not damaged. I had one of those damaged in the past. So make sure you take your time when you do the soldering. Make sure you have no bridges, for example, between any of the wires here on the SD card over here as well. And sometimes I notice that if you insert your MX4 SIO memory card into your PS2, um, it's, there's a possibility that your wires might get loose. So if, 
And so you have issue with the PS2 not recognizing your memory card for whatever reason, take it out, open it up, take a look, check all your wires, and everything is good there, then maybe you want to check your file system in terms of how you did your games and or take a look at the version of OPL that you're using. Oh, and one more other pro tip is make sure that your games are not fragmented. If they are, um, OPL is going to have a hard time either detecting the games or even playing them as well. So that's a little quick update on some tips and tricks that I learned myself, and I'll put some more tips in the video description as time goes on or with your feedback and you leave something in the comments section as well. Last but not least, I've been working with the game community for quite a while now on a game compatibility list for MX4 SIO. So some of the entries here are by other users among the community, also mine, myself. So if you have a game that you wish to submit, you can either click on the link here for the form and you can submit the game information here. Or if you wish, you can go ahead, ask for editing access to the spreadsheet I'll grant it to you. And then you can go ahead and add your games to this list as time goes on, which is my preference because that's just one less thing that I have to deal with quite honestly. And there's just so many games out there. I don't have enough time. So the more people that can work on this, uh, the better I would say. And it's, it's growing every day. Um, green means that the game is playable. Yellow means it boots, but there's some issues with it. Red means it just doesn't work at all, basically. Now, will this get better over time? That's possible, but you know, we have uh, the PS2 scene, they're working on it, making improvements, and hopefully one day this, this list will turn all green. I can't, I can't uh, promise that, but it's a nice good start. Right now we got basically from starting the, the numbers, you know, all the way from A to Z, and the, the list is just growing almost every day, if not every single week. So that is today's very short um, general MX4 SIO video, tips and tricks, and also the game compatibility list. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.